Hi guys and happy Easter. How is everybody doing today? How's your Easter going so far if you celebrate it? I am, um, well I've been to Primark as you can see, the bags certainly give it away. If you return in, thank you so very, very much. And if you are new, hi, my name's Rosie. I generally upload videos a couple of times a week, lifestyle vlogs, hauls, um, although I am contemplating just calling it a haul channel at the moment, because <laughs> that's all I seem to do lately. Um, but yeah, I know it's a little bit premature. If you enjoy the video you're about to watch, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it just helps me understand what videos you guys prefer and if you haven't already I would love if you would subscribe to my channel and join my YouTube family I would love to meet you have you on this journey with me and yeah I'm also over on Instagram if you'd like to give me a following over there it's at Rosie Simpson double underscore and I usually upload my stories daily or at least I try to so Primark I've been to Primark. I think I've spent about £200 this time around. Um, there was so much. Usually for my Primark they don't have much of anything. But I don't know if everybody else's Primark's like that. Again, I've said this before. I say it all the time. I see so much stuff on my Instagram. Because I follow them on my channel. Um, on my Instagram. And I see so much stuff and I think, wow, amazing. And then when I go to find it, I can never find it. Or I'll find bits like snippets of it. So yeah, anyways, there was so much in and I could have bought so much. I'm not going to do a try on today, guys, because it's Easter Sunday and we are having roast chicken today and then I'm going to do some salmon as well because my son and my daughter are through from Yorkshire and they're coming to stay with us. Well, they've been to stay with, with us over Easter. So what have you been up to this fine Easter weekend? The weather where I live has been absolutely amazing and um, yeah so we took the kids bowling and stuff yesterday we just made a family day of it um, so I'm going to pop some pictures up on my Instagram if you want to see that if you want to be like yeah just yeah, give me a full win <laughs> um, and then what else have we done today's kind of been a bit more chilled I'm just kind of I'm going to get this haul done for you guys I'm going to share with you what I bought because I got some, I think I got some nice bits. Um, and then I'm going to cook dinner. We're having chicken and salmon because um, I'm not too sure if the rotisserie, I can't say it, rotisserie chickens that I bought are going to be enough. I'm currently sitting on my 10 foot bed at the moment, so I might have to get up to kind of like, don't worry, I'm not going to fall off. I might have to get up to like show a few bits and pieces because there are a few, there's, there's a couple of bits in there that's, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm just going to get into it. So I've shopped in the sale as well because Primark I've got a few sale bits and whatever going on. There wasn't much, I will say. It was a little bit disappointing, but I did manage to pick up a couple of bits, um, which I'm quite happy with. So how is everybody doing anyways? I, I have asked that, haven't I? How's everybody doing? And what are you having for your Sunday dinner? Well, your Easter dinner? Let me know in the comments below. So I'm going to do the first things first. Anyways, so... Jaden's gone to school last week and I got a message on Friday saying that um, another pupil had mistakenly took his coat because we're going away and I know a few of you guys have said like that where we're going which is coastal it's Norfolk on holiday we're going tomorrow I can't wait oh I'm gonna be on that beach every day fingers crossed is there anybody living in Norfolk I know a few of you guys do let me know how the weather's been <laughs> because I can't wait. You're going to see this video today, by the way. So again, happy Easter, because um, I will edit it and get it up for you. Um, yeah, let me know. Let me know how the weather's been and stuff, because I'm going to stay by the coast. So I'm well excited. I just, I, I love a beach, honestly. If I could be anywhere in the world, it would be on a beach. That's where you'd find me. That's my happy place. Where are your guys' happy places? Because yeah, and it's back to the story. So Jaden, court bless him. I know we'll get the coat back, hopefully we'll get the coat back, but Jaden, because he's autistic, he's on the spectrum, he generally will only wear one coat. Um, when we've bought him numerous others in the past, he won't wear them, so they just kind of sit collecting dust and then they end up too small for him and they're in the charity bag. So rather than like go overboard and buy him too many clothes and things, we tend to only buy him the one coat 
I know it sounds a little bit silly and somebody's going to say why would you only have one coat for your son but it's because he will only wear the one coat only he will only wear the one coat um anyways we've gone into primark and i spotted this one and to be honest it's quite it's plain blue is it dark can you see me all right because i am thinking that maybe that that thing the glare off that mirror is going to be a bit of a pain in the bum in it so i'm going to stand here and then yeah so we've got just a plain blue padded jacket it's actually really it feels like you know like that downy material it feels like that anyways it should have been let me have a look it should have been 16 pounds picked it up in the age 12 to 13 and because it was in the sale we got it for seven pounds it was reduced originally to 10 and then it was reduced again to seven and this is because they're getting like all the spring summer stuff in but we're going to be where the coast is and we still have a bit of um the weather's still not that good you know and i'm saying it's nice today the sun's out and stuff so we've got really nice weather for easter and things um but it's got a, it's got a pocket i'm sure it properly goes it's got a pocket inside for him um it's not padded or anything but in fairness you know jaden sweats quite a bit um and he doesn't always he can't always tell you when he's sweating he doesn't always know how to regulate and stuff like you know he's not aware of it so we have to remind him a lot to like take clothes off put clothes on that kind of thing um so i think this will be crikey this would fit me <laughs> it actually would i could try that on couldn't i i'm five foot two for reference as well guys like look at this watch this this is where like i don't know whether this is embarrassing or not i mean it's cheap enough for a kid's coat look at that and it fits and it's actually like so padded hell of it i could have this after he's done with it if he doesn't want it once he grows out of it because yeah i'm certainly not going to grow out of it i mean it's a little bit tight i can still get it fastened up though like ew i could have that when i'm dog, dog walking and stuff once jason grows out of it I've got myself a coat how bad is that though when you can actually wear your kids clothes and get away with it because like you just well i'm usually a size i'm gonna say between an 8 and a 14 for reference depends where i shop that coat there was a 10 to a 12 to 13 year old and i got into that oh happy days <laughs> um let's put a smile on my face next i just picked up now i already have a denim skirt but it's got a front split. These have been in the bag for a little while, so they've gone and got blum increased. I knew I was meant to take them out yesterday, but it's very long though, so I'm hoping that it's gonna fit us. But it's really nice. It's off the Rita Aura collection. Um, she's actually got some nice bits out, I think, for the summer. And I was looking for a denim skirt that didn't have the split in the front, if that makes sense. So instead of the split being in the front, it's got the split in the back and it's not as long as the one that I've got because my split on my other one like comes up to here somewhere um which is really nice and stuff for the summer and whatever but I just thought I wanted something else that would kind of like cover my legs if that made sense I picked this up in a size 10 and it was 20 pounds um but yeah I really like it and then I thought I can match this with a t-shirt or I can wear it like if I'm going out anywhere um, I can just match it with sandals, trainers, boots, whatever. And I'll just keep hold of this in my wardrobe because fashion tends to go around, doesn't it? So I'm just going to kind of put stuff behind us. And then to go with that, I picked up another... I'm, I need t-shirts. I seem to just be constantly in plain white t-shirts at the moment. And I do I, I do like a logo tee. So I picked this Nirvana t-shirt up and I think it's really, really pretty. It's really nice. It's just got that on the front it's like an angel kind of like the nirvana logo and then the back is rather plain but hey who cares um i like it and i thought i put it with the denim skirt and it goes really well and i can wear this with shorts i can wear it with not that i wear a lot of jeans but i can wear this with trousers and everything you know i can like flash it up and flash it down if that makes sense um i just feel like relaxing around the house and stuff and it was 12 pounds and I picked it up in the medium because even though the the small was quite a big 
bigger size as well, but it's not oversized. I got this out of the men's department because I do like the men's departments. This t-shirt that I'm wearing, I was looking for these as well. This is just like a plain white cotton tee that they do. And this is like, um, they didn't have any in my Primark. I had to go to, I went to, when I picked this up when I went to Newcastle. Um, and these are like £10 each and I've got so many of these but I just thought like a couple of bits with like logos on and stuff as well for the summer coming in so as a t-shirt and I'm just a little bit aware that sometimes things can shrink especially if you put them in the wash and stuff um, so I picked it up and I like my stuff oversized well, I like my t-shirts oversized so in my costume because I'm going on holiday and I know we're going to the beach it's going to be too cold to go in the sea or anything but we are staying like um yeah I'm sure there's going to be like pools and things there there's got to be pools there hasn't there so I've just packed up and the kids love swimming and when we start swimming up again again in the summer pick this up I spotted this and I thought you know what because Primark I've got all the swimming stuff in so that's two costumes I've got now which I'm quite happy with and I love the colour of this it's like a burnt orange and I love the pattern um I just thought you know what and it's double lined as well so you're not going to see anything and I think there's even a bit for like oh yeah look they've even got the booby bits in where I mean I'll take them out because yeah they tend to kind of like have a mind of their own them things and they just when you wash them or they get wet or something like that they can slip and <laughs> to make you look like lopsided like you've got you know what I mean like your boob mum boob up here and mum boob down there it's not a good look so this was 12 pounds and I picked it up in a size small which in Primark is a 10 to 12 and yeah quite happy with that it looks like it's quite high legged as well so I need to try that on and make sure that it's all right. If you can hear noises, by the way, or you hear anything, it is the holidays. The kids are downstairs um, just eating their Easter eggs and stuff. Are we allowed to call them Easter eggs now? We are out. No, no, we're not out. I, I, I don't know. I mean, what is... I, I, I'm not even going to get into that. Anyways, back to the little haul. Um, Rita Aurora again. Absolutely love this. I've seen it. And I love a cami top. And I thought, Do you know what, that's actually really pretty. And that's the pattern on it. It's like a lace pattern on the front. And then, yeah, that denim skirt, by the way, had a raw hem on it as well. So I don't mind a raw hem. I quite like a raw hem, um, especially with trainers and things. Anyways, back to this top, yeah. It's not raw, it's stitched. It's actually really pretty. And I picked this up in a size 10 because, in fairness, they looked like they were quite oversized. Um... And it was £12 and I just, I need some bits and pieces for the summer and I need some bits and pieces for when I go out because even though we don't have a lot of date nights and we don't go out often, I want to start trying to have like a bit more time together if that makes sense. We need to start making more time for each other because um, we both lead rather busy lives. I work, obviously, my husband works full time and sometimes he can be away for like three, four nights in a run and it's, yeah, it, it can be. So we don't really get to spend a lot of time together. So when we do get to spend time together, it's really nice. And we've kind of made, we've kind of been talking and yeah, we got, we, we need to, we want to start making more of an effort to have like our date nights and stuff. Um, so I picked this up because I thought it would be really nice. And again, I could pair it up with that denim skirt and whatever. Um, or just some nice trousers. I said so much. So many nice trousers and things and now I'm like devastated. Socks. I could spend a small fortune in Primark at the moment. £2.50 because they are smashing it. Um, £2.50 socks just for Kenzie because we can never go wrong with so many socks. You can't go to Primark and not pick socks up. One bag empty. I'm having to stand on my knackers. Something else that we picked up in the sale. My hubby decided that... He only put a jumper on yesterday when it, no, he didn't put a jumper on yesterday. He only had a t-shirt on yesterday when we went out and it was quite nippy, it was quite windy. Um and we had the Easter market and everything. So he wanted a jumper or something because he'd left his coat. I think did he leave his coat in the car? I don't know. But anyways, he's short on jumpers. In 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 a long story short, he's short on jumpers. Um and we spotted this one. Well, he spotted this one, and it's two pack. I'm a bit worried because it's white 
I need to make be. Um, but do you know what? It was in the sale and it was £10. He has took the tag off it because he's worn it, but it was in the sale and I picked it up. Well, he picked it up in an XL. Um, it was reduced to 20 I think it should have been £20 and it was reduced down to 10 And then on the back, again, I'm a sucker for a logo. It's got a two pack on the back. Um, and I think it's a few, some like from, from his like his lyrics and because he was a poet and stuff as well as a rapper and that wasn't he so yeah two back ten pounds in sale grab that um moving on to bag number two i've ripped this bag right i've always ripped the bags I always ask as if i want the bigger bags and i always say no because then i know i'll forget to take them back whereas with these ones I can put them for the recycling, but I always end up ripping them. So, back to my nights out. Well, my, like my date nights and things, because I really don't do nights out anymore. Um, I don't like the next day. Like, if you've had a drink and stuff, I'm not that. I'm not a big drinker. I'm a lightweight, and it just makes me ill, and I can't stand it. I don't like it. Um, and I think the older you get as well, I, I, I don't know. It's like I watch this thing that, like, you know, drinking in your 20s, and you're like bouncing around the next day and like come on bring it on that kind of thing and then drinking in your 30s and you're like oh, oh my god what did I do last night I am um, yeah never again I think I'm dying and then in your 40s <laughs> you're on life support like you need you need the drip and everything <laughs> like because you just yeah a, a one day hangover turns hangover turns into like three four days and it's just it, it's not good I mean my kids are in their 20s like and they're already saying like my son bless him he's already saying like he's starting to get two day hangovers now I don't miss it so yeah I love this colour it's like a baby blue and it's a skirt but shorts and I just loved it and they had it in a peach and they had it in white what are the colours and they had it in black and I think they had it in beige as well so they had it in quite a few different colours but I spotted this one and I just thought do you know what for the summer like a little girl like a little village pub somewhere or a beach pub somewhere or just yeah I, 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 I don't know but or just like a nice restaurant or something absolutely stunning and they're not too short short on the back either i've yet to try them on um i picked them up in a size 10 i'm hoping that they're gonna fit us but if they don't i can always take them back and exchange them um and they're 12 pounds and yeah i just i love the color and then I'll pop those there because sometimes with primark shorts i know they can tend to be like a rather short short um i have found that in the past i'm not sure about anybody else but something else i picked up now i'm not too sure about the color but in fairness i probably would have picked it up in black if i had it in black but they only had a couple on the peg um well on the hangers that i could see in my primark so it is like this gray ribbed dress but my only concern is is it's quite thin as you can see already like you can see you can you can see me so i'm a little bit concerned about that and for the price of it but I thought it's really nice. It's like a long maxi dress. As you can, yeah, it's very long. And it's got a split at the back. A Solomon tiptoe so you can see it. It's got a split at the back. Because I don't know. I'm hoping that this lighting's okay. And it's not too bad um, for years. I picked this up in a 2XS. And this is what I mean when I say like sizes vary. It just depends where you're shopping, time of the month and whether or not you've eaten anything I think and yeah this is like very very stretchy hence why I thought I'd get the smaller size um it was 16 pounds and a 2xs in Primark is like a four to a six but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it because then I went into River Island and I spotted one very very similar but theirs is a lot thicker the lining um I think it was double lined and stuff a little bit more pricier but a bit more better quality i'm gonna say so i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep it i shall try it on later when i get a chance because i might if i'm gonna try it on 
but then sorry there's a motorbike just going past because i actually live on the main road um yeah so i'm gonna try it on later uh, if i like it it'll go in my suitcase for hauls if not then it'll go back to, into the returns bag and i shall take it back when i get back next at the end of next week um, something else my hobby picked up apparently i mean he knows more than i do but apparently this is david beckham's football team or something david beckham yeah god knows it'll tell us on here look mls mills soccer i don't follow soccer i don't follow football to be fair um I do apologise if there are any football fans out there, but my husband's an avid Liverpool supporter and he just he just loves watching football and stuff, whereas I'm not too like keen on it. Um but this was £12, it's in an XL. I love the colour. The black one looked a little bit more cheaper if that makes sense. It didn't look as good quality, so we picked it up in the pink and it's actually I mean you've got a little badge there which is really cute and then you've got your badge on the front and then on the back again it's a little god this is what kind of like i'm not thinking I, I, I don't know how well that's gonna wash it's just not gonna have to go in the dryer um because it's quite it feels quite um i'd be quite concerned with that if you put that in the wash it's that like plasticky stuff but in fairness yeah miami international de football club miami whatever mls football yeah but he liked it so and again he needs and it's it, it's quite a good thick material as well so he needs t-shirts he needs tops my husband's one of these that um, he doesn't like to spend money on himself I don't know about anybody else, his husbands and stuff, but yeah, mine bless him. Doesn't like to spend money on himself, so I usually end up either putting it in the basket for him or I get him it at a later date um, when I go shopping and stuff. And then we spotted this for Xander. This is really cute. This is another one of those MLS or F F MLS football suits. This is like the whole football thing. But they only add it in certain sizes so this is a 10 to 11 now Xander usually gets like a 9 to 10 so it's, it is going to be a little bit big but i think it'll be fine and it just means that you can grow into it through the summer um although it is a tiny top and then you get the pants to go with it which is actually for the price of it it's really good so it's like a whole little outfit black and pink Xander's gonna love it in fairness, bless him, Xander loves anything that's new. <laughs> um, he loves it when he gets new clothes and he'll be quite happy to try it on for us and give us a little fashion show. And then it just, it ties as well, so that'll be really good. Like, 10 to 11 and it was £15. And you get the t-shirt and the shorts, which is, yeah. So for the summer, that's going to be cushed. Eh? Xander's going to be loving that. Lexi, this is such a cute little costume. I love it. You've got like... The little bit just not too much skin it's not showing too much skin there's just a little bit you know of the side bit that you'll see which i'm quite happy for you know because she's getting to that age now where obviously you know what teenage girls are like well she's not even a teenager bless her she's just turned 11 but she's gonna be going to secondary in september and they get they kind of get to that age don't know where they're not babies anymore but you want to keep them dressed like a baby because yeah they're your well they are your babies aren't they um so anyways yeah i've seen this and i like the colors and i like the little pattern and it doesn't show too much skin um she'll be well covered still and it was i got a bit i picked it up get your wounds out rose picked it up in 10 to 11 and it was only seven pounds and she just needs she's got two new swimming costumes now so yeah while one is drying after being washed the other one can be um what else have we got here let's pop a look oh gosh right so this was the, ah this was the two pack one yeah it should have been 20 pounds and it was a tenner it was 10 pounds pop that in there crocs but these are the cheaper versions of crocs because we're going on holiday and i just thought yeah 
Jason loves these. He's got some from last year and he absolutely loved them. He was never out of them so I've picked these ones up for him this time. And I'm just thinking because if we can get on holiday for August as well, hopefully we can kind of go abroad where it's going to be a bit more sunny -er, as they say. Size 4 and they're only £5 and they had them in a few different colours. I know they had them in blue. We got Jade and the blue ones last year and they had them in like a black with like a dash of like orange and pinks going through them and stuff but my husband thought they'd be too busy for him and he might not wear them because Jaden likes things kind of like plain and yeah easy to like look at easy on the eye if that makes sense because he's quite sensory he's Jaden well he's very sensory to be fair so five pounds for them some sliders for Xander because he's grown out of his other ones so that his other ones will go in the charity bag and again love the colour very summery five pounds of sugar can't go wrong I'll probably wear I could probably wear these myself these are a size three these are the same as my feet honestly isn't it embarrassing when as I, like I was saying on there when your kids are literally the same size as you this is Lexi so she's in a size three well she's like two and a half going into a three but I picked her up the three anyways because she'll grow into them and she's got long toes bless her so yeah size three and again these were five pounds but these would fit me I can get away with shopping in the kids section it's crazy so for five pounds hmm? if I get any more sliders I mean I've got loads from when like that I bought last year and stuff like that so in fairness I don't really need any more um like that anyways I got some from Pretty Little Thing was it two years ago now that I went to Tenerife I think it was yeah because I didn't go abroad last year no we went to we went to France last Easter so we didn't actually get another holiday last year because yeah one was enough um and it was the year before oh my god it's been two years since I've actually oh wow I'll have to sort that one out then won't I yeah anyways I got some ones from Pretty Little Thing and I've still got them I think I paid a tenner for them and I still wear them now so yeah there you go um Swim shorts for my hubby. They've got a pocket, zip pocket and everything in them. I apologise for this. Like, see this flash of light here. Like, this this bit here. I am so sorry about that. I can't do anything about the lighting in this house. Where my house is situated for the sun, it's rubbish. It's not good. And I don't know if I'm not facing and south facing or whatever. So, yeah, I do apologise for that as well. I'm not going into that one. Um, Primark. Again, £10. Well, of course the Primark, because this is a Primark haul. Extra large. They've got the toggles on the waist and stuff, so you can just cinch them in if they're a little bit too big. Um, but in fairness, I'd rather have them too big than too small. I'll grab them. Um, this bag is never ending. Socks for Lexi. Again, you can't go to Primark and not buy socks. I always end up either buying socks, pyjamas or underwear. Socks. <laughs> They've just got the little frills on them as well and you get like five pairs. And I like the idea of the fact that they're black, blue and they've got the frilly bits on them. And then you get two pairs of the white and then you get a pair of the pink. And I just thought they were really, really pretty with their trainers and stuff. Um, and white socks won't stay white for very long in my house. And Lexi seems to like the colour, I think she seems to like like the colours more as well. Because um, she's got a few different pairs of like pattern socks and she tends to go for the patterned ones more than the plain ones. So I just thought I'd get her them ones and I thought she'd be happy with them. She will see them all in a moment. Um, just a couple of other bits in the bag as well. I went to Superdrug because I needed a few bits. I needed some um, travel sick tablets for Zonda because he gets travel sick, bless him. So I picked up some of them wells. In fairness, they do work. Um, just be careful with them if you yeah, because they can like make you sleepy. Um, I know with Xander I give him like one tablet and they make him so drowsy he just falls asleep, bless him. But yeah, they do work, they stop him from being sick. Um, and then I picked up a new tanning mitt. This was $2.99. And it's just the skinny tan. It was one of the cheaper ones because I don't have a tanning mitt. My tanning mitt's gone somewhere. I don't know where it's gone. 
my girls borrow my stuff and then I don't get it. And then it's something that I've been wanting to try for quite some time. Fake tan. Now, I've recently started following these guys on my Instagram. Um, Utan, they're called. But I've been wanting to get it for so long. But it can be quite expensive, especially if you're buying the Utan face mist. And then the body tan as well. Um, but... I've heard like a lot of good things about this. No, it's not an ad. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, no. This is the CBD Tanning Water Serum and it's Dark Gradual Tan. Um, and it's just, yeah, optimal hydration with CBD from plants grown organically. But I've heard it was, it was buy one, get one half price. So I saved like £10. So I grabbed that. Can you even see it? Let's have a little look. Focus. Yeah, I grabbed that. So I'm excited to try this. And then this is the CBD Tanning Water, the Gradual Face Mist. Um, and it's infused with CBD and Scottish lavender oil. Oh, excited to try this as well because, yeah, um, I'm going to take it on holiday with us and I'm going to try and see what it looks like. Buy one, get one, half price. Um, and that's on nearly everything in Superdrug. So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to save myself £10. I grab them now. Hopefully they'll last us quite a bit. Because I tend to be quite lazy with my fake tan and stuff like that. And I am so pale at the moment and I'm aware that summer's coming in. And I know, like, some beds and things like that are bad for you. But I will admit that sometimes, not every time, and I'm not, obviously, you know, saying like you should all do it you should because I'm not this is just for me I suffer from psoriasis and I find if I go on the sunbed once a week it generally helps but I've not been on the sunbed for so long and I just thought I need a little bit of you know a nice little bit of a glow to my skin for the summer coming in and stuff like that especially when you start to wear like summer dresses and things and shorts and stuff especially my legs my legs are like so pale um but i've got like i've got a spot have you seen this sorry i'm looking in the viewfinder to see it but honestly like i've gotten up this morning what is this i don't know i think it's because the last couple of weeks i've been heat i've been heating the last two weeks i've been eating really healthy and then yesterday i went bowling and i just had some chicken like um chicken tenders but they were fried i've got up this morning and I've got this so yeah and my skin's usually quite clear so I'm not sure what that is either that or my period's due in is all I'm gonna say because that's when my skin tends to change but yeah just never mind and then back to the haul we shall go um just another little bodycon dress it's like a body yeah like a like a maxi dress like a maxi bodycon kind of thing um, pick this up in a size extra small which is a six to eight eight pounds and I just got it for the summer because I like the color normally I go for the black in these um, last year I got a pink one and I think it was a blue one but a light blue one and in all fairness I didn't suit them I just looked really washed out and really it just yeah the, the colors didn't suit me so I ended up giving them to my daughter and she suited them very, very well, to be honest. Um, so somebody got some wear out of them. But yeah, little sleeve. It's ribbed, kind of, if that makes sense. It, yeah, it just looks like that. And it's quite long. And I just thought, do you know what? With like a nice jacket, like a bomber jacket, or even like my leather jacket or something, that would be really nice. Or just like um, a shirt, you know, just chuck a shirt over the top of it. It'd be lovely for the summer. I'll pop that there so that might go in my bag as well i'm not sure um and then i'm getting in the summer vibes i seen these and i thought do you know what these are actually out of my comfort zone this is something oh sorry i seen the pants as well to go with them and i thought should i get the pants but i only actually went in to pick up um swimming stuff for the kids and i only ended up really picking lexi swimming stuff up and myself and my husband um because we just needed a couple of swimming bits i know i said the kids and stuff but we just needed a couple of pieces for swimming and things and so this is actually an accidental primark haul that was never meant to be but i've seen so many nice stuff and i couldn't help myself i just thought if i can pick up a few bits for yeah the summer and that coming in 
because with Primark, as you very well know, if you don't, if you you know, you see it, you leave it, you go back, it's gone. This is out of my comfort zone, but I really, really like the pattern. And I just thought, so cute. Elasticated waist, you know, so when you're having your uh, barbecue or whatever else, or when I'm having my barbecue, I can just, you know, eat and stuff. They're quite a thick material, which is really good. I mean, I wouldn't want to wear black knickers under there, but yeah, you know, they're not actually that secret. Well, they're not. To be honest, I'll show you. It's not. See? Mm, should be all right. Get away with that. Um, pockets, which I like. That's a good thing. And I picked these up in a small. I know the hanger actually says a 14, but they're not. Picked these up in a small. They're only £6. Size 10 to 12. And I just thought, like, they're not too short. They're not too long. They're like a linen-y material. They feel like linen. I bet you they're not linen though. Um, it's recycled. 50% recycled polyester. I told you they weren't linen. I told you I'd get it wrong. I always get it wrong. But they feel like that linen material. But they had this. I think they had this in a skirt. They had it in trousers. And I'm sure they had the top to go with the trousers. I was going to get the trousers. But I didn't. I might. If. Is the of course there's going to be Primarks in Norfolk. I might go hunting. You never know. Because I really like the pants as well, but I just wasn't sure if the pants that would like me. Because they are very busy and they're generally out of my comfort zone. And then I thought if I match it with like a little vest top. How cute is can you just step back a little bit? How cute is that going to be? I'm aware that my cup's behind us, so I need to like, I remembered my water cup this time. Um, but yeah, a little cami, and I thought, why not? And it's not like white, white, it's more like a, like a creamy colour. Um, but I picked this up in a tent, and it was £5. And I just thought, if I put those two together, with some nice little sandals, that's going to be so cute. Pop those down there. And then last but not least, right, so this is, I'm just excited for summer and yeah, look at this. Right, so this is the jacket and I think they did a pants, they did trousers as well, but I got the, I got that. I got that, look at that. That is like a pure summer vibe and it's absolutely stunning. And I thought, you know what, I've picked it up in, because I didn't want to go too oversized, so I've picked it up in a 12 to 14, because I think that's going to be all right. Um, it's got it's got pockets, but they're stitched. And I paid £22, £22 for a blazer. That's actually really so good. And it's like, I mean, it's light and airy enough for the summer coming in. And I just loved it. And I thought, right, okay. And then we can just... I know I said I wasn't going to do a try on, but we can pop this on over the. Ooh. We'd like that little cami and that, those shorts and stuff. Look, okay, oh, can you see it? I'm going to knock my cup over. I'm going to. Like, my bedroom is like the wall's like right there. <laughs> there again. But, anyways, yeah, it's a little bit long, but everything's a little bit long for me, unless I can get, find a petite. And in fairness, Primark don't yet do like a petite range no they do but only in certain things but they need to Primark you need to if anybody's listening you need to start doing a bigger petite range um, for us little shorties because I'm only five foot three but I like this it's actually like bring on spring bring on summer I know it's springtime now isn't it bring on summer and it's literally just hitting I'll show you yes. wait a minute if you can see, it's not too long, but with that score, it's gonna be like. Gonna be. Pop his back up. <sighs> Me and my cameraman skills. It's gonna be absolutely, absolutely, it's gonna be absolutely lovely. I shall try and get pictures. I'll tell you what I'll do, right? For anybody that follows me on Instagram, I shall try and do like a little. Yeah, try on. Um, oh, but then I'm going away tomorrow. I'm going to do this one. I was going to say I'll try and do a little try on for anybody that so you can actually see. It. I'll I'll get some pictures. It'll be fine. We will sort it. 
if you follow me on Instagram, you will see. If you don't, why aren't you following me? Because <laughs> then you won't see. I'm only joking. No, honestly. Um, and then last but not least, from Superdrug, I just picked up some high hydrating. This is the Focus. Can you? It's not going to focus. Is it? This is the. Uh, I'm eating my hair. Revolution Pro Hydrating Matte Fixing Spray with Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin E. And I've had this before, and it's actually really good. And I think it's about eight pounds or something like that. Um, and then I'll call myself a liar because it won't be where we are. No. I didn't pay for that one. Actually, my husband paid for that separately because then he went to find something to eat from the Easter market. I had South African curry yesterday from the Easter market and do you know what? It was absolutely delicious. Chef's kiss. Beautiful. I do love to try new foods. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely stunning. And then I've just nipped into... Because I'm aware that I'm hope obviously that Lexi needs like a few more bits of pieces, leggings and stuff. River Island leggings, just normal leggings. These are about seven ninety nine each, and then I just picked her up this T-shirt, which is actually really cute. But you know when you think, and I think she's maybe already got this T-shirt. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I think I might have bought her it in a Chris um a birthday stuff. I'll have to have a look but if uh, anyways she, it just means as my husband said oh well it means she's got two so yeah just grabbed her this with a little t-shirt 1988 10 pounds um and 11 to 12 and that was that because in fairness i think my river island are just doing their restock now for spring they had, they had so much nice stuff in as well like where I live, we are kind of, we don't have a lot of shops, so we're very, very limited to what we can buy and stuff. Um, so River Island for me is kind of, yeah, but they had so much nice stuff in. And again, you know, when you just think when I come not to buy anything, I find loads. When I go to buy stuff, I find very little. It's sod's law, but not to worry. Anyways... That's it, my lovelies. So, all in all, it was 200, roughly 200 pounds that I spent. And I didn't even pick any pyjamas up. Um, in all honesty, 207 pounds. Like, my husband came with us now, usually, and he always says, I love coming shopping with you, babe. Hmm. But then I always feel rushed when he is with me, bless him, because I know he doesn't really enjoy it. He just he, he says that to keep me happy, bless him. He's, 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 a, he's a diamond. Um, but honestly, £207, which isn't too bad. And that's it. So I'm going to say enjoy the rest of your Easter Sunday. You will see this today because I'm going to go and edit it now while I'm, gonna, while I'm prepping Sunday dinner because I'm, I'm, I'm good at multitasking. <laughs> um so we're going to get that sorted and then so you will see this later so i hope you have a very very happy easter sunday the rest of it if you celebrate it um what are you having for your dinner anything nice so let me know down in the comments how you're spending your day are you going away for any of the easter hauls what you're doing and stuff like that and i shall see you next week when i'm in norfolk so yeah, take care, stay safe, lots of love and don't forget to press the subscribe button. If you got this far with me, thank you so much for watching and I, again, I hope you enjoy your weekend and yeah, I shall see you all next week. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Take care, see you later, bye.